Now James on the right wing, down the line for Walker. Walker's first introduction gets to the byline, just inside the box. Decent looking cross, Rankin scores! Hereford back in front, Michael Rankin scores! win by two goals to one but we've still got two more minutes to endure at Chester full time at Chester Chester 2 Salisbury 2 Hereford out of nowhere are staying up still have hope you'll have a football team to support come next season. I find it very, very hard to see that the, the football club in its present guys can now go on. The reason why we're not in the conference is because the conference wanted £350,000 off of me yep. to put into their bank account and yep. I refused. The um, winding up petitions on Monday, we we'll wait to see what happens with that. I think really Hereford United does have a great future, but that future is with the fans. That future is with the fans running the football club. And if that means starting from scratch, it means starting from scratch. <laughs> they said to me, listen, the club would need £300,000, that's it. Since I've been down here, it's £1.3 million. With the collapse of the club, fans gathered at Edgar Street tonight to share their feelings on the news. When I saw this news at 20 to 5, whatever, I just could not believe it. I almost collapsed onto the floor. I really did. The barrister for Hereford United said that £1 million to pay the debts had been placed in a bank account, but that owner Andy Lonsdale was stuck in traffic with the documentary proof. Unacceptable and out of time, said the judge, as he granted the winding up order against the club. And, and, and that, that feeling today, it's probably more than let down, isn't it? What, what is that feeling? It's hurt, it's anger. The thing that we've loved for generations of our families is gone. We never thought we'd come to this. I mean, back in April when we were all Jubler and to older shop. We never thought we'd get to this in such a short space of time. You sound close to tears, Mark. Absolutely. Now the football club's come back. People have got behind it again, that people have, have realised what they'd lost. It's just absolutely fantastic. And as people remarked here, you look around, everybody's smiling. Well, that's the power of sport, the power of football, the power of Hereford FC. All the supporters, we all worked hard to get to this point. The, the atmosphere around the city and, and around the county, it's just building and building and building and uh, it's so exciting for everyone. emotional day to be honest. It still gets your, you know, your stomach going and you, know, you get the butterflies and how can you not play in front of 4,000 people? It's going to get you nervous. It's good for you. You need it as a, as a footballer. You need that nervous energy to start games well. That's Sweden, yeah. Unbelievable. Um, after a few bad experiences here and a few years before, that's just made up for it all. I don't think supporters always realise the pressure uh, on the opening day of the season, the heat of today, the pressure on the players to get the right result. First 20 minutes, I think you could see yeah, everyone's a bit nervous and tense, but we come through it, we stuck at it, played good football, and it's one for the fans, they deserved it today.
they're a, they're a good combination, a good pair. It was their day today going forward. But we're pleased with what they've done today and I'm sure they will be as well. Three goals were outstanding. But not only that, he looked a very, very intelligent player. He played on the shoulder of the last defender and made some great runs in behind defenders. And defenders don't like that. We showed a little bit of fear which is understandable, and that's why I said I'll give them this one, because it is understandable, it's 4,000 people, it's the first game of the season for the new clubs, so or the first official game, if you like, so there was a lot riding on it for the players. I felt I did well at times, I think a little bit edgy at other times. Um, a bit fortunate to get it, maybe, with Millsy getting a hat-trick, so I'm going to have to share a bottle of champagne with him, I think. When you're tired or make a mistake, they're still right behind you. Basically, our 12th man. When we're struggling a bit, maybe, if they're still loud like they were today, definitely get us through it and help us a lot. I think any fair minded supporter anywhere in the country would have sympathised with the plight of Hereford fans and uh, the way the club has been ripped apart. Supporters now can look forward to it with a, a great deal of optimism.